So welcome to Storytime with Lola. I'm so happy to see you. Today we're going to read Pirates Go to School. It is written by Corinne Damas, illustrated by John Manders, and it's fun. Pirates come to school each day with backpacks full of books. They hang their pirate swords up on the coat rack on the hooks. Pirates bring their parrots, who echo what they say. Good morning, teacher. Good morning, teacher, is how they start each day. To sit next to a pirate is everybody's wish, but better hold your nose because they smell of rotting fish. Pirates learn their letters. X marks the spot, Y, Z. Pirates learn arithmetic. Two skulls plus one is three. Pirates like to paint black skies, make cannonballs with clay. Pirates bring home artwork to their pirate ship each day. Pirates share at show and tell. The stuff they bring is old. A treasure chest, a treasure map, a piece of pirate gold. Pirates won't eat peanut butter. They won't touch cheese or carrots. At snack time, they want slimy squid and crackers for their parrots. Pirates nap at nap time since what? Since that's what nap time's for. The only trouble is pirates always snore. Pirates play at walk the plank and other games quite daring. But when the teacher calls time out, because she hears them swearing. We hate timeouts, arg. We hate timeouts, arg. Pirates and parrots roar. Behave yourselves, the teacher warns, or you'll sit five minutes more. Let's mutiny, let's mutiny, pirates and parrots cry. But wait, it's almost story time, so pirates do not try. At story time, the pirates beg for tales of ships at sea. And at the end, they spin some yarns of pirate treachery. When the school day's over, pirates put everything away. They clean the mess their parrots make, and this is what they say. Yo ho ho, we're so cool. We are pirates and we love school. Oh, that was so sweet. Thanks again for joining me. So happy to have you as always. And remember, until next time, Lola loves you. Don't forget to subscribe and like.